Hi, Tyler from Inner Fidelity here. Today we're going to talk about some very unusual little headphones. These are called bedphones. These are very thin dynamic driver uh, on ear or earbud. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, earphones with uh, little memory hooks on them that go over your ears and the fundamental use for these headphones is to be able to wear them in bed as you go to sleep at night or watching a movie on your iPad and being able to lie down on your side without any discomfort and uh, they're $59 so they're relatively inexpensive and I saw them at the Consumer Electronics Show earlier this year and thought they sounded okay and and uh, gave them a call and they sent me a pair and um, I think they're cool little gadgets. So basically uh, they hook over your ears like this <clears throat> and you can kind of use them in a couple of different ways. I'll, I'll put them both on. Um, the company recommends that you put the cable around the back of your neck and um, get them fitted over your ears probably and it's a little fidgety at first because they're they, it takes a bit of time to get them in place and move the memory wire around and get the ear pads in the right place but once you're done they're um, quite comfortable and quite secure on your head and the cable has a little slider on it that you slide up to the back of your head to uh, snug them up and uh, they sure do stay on your ears very, very securely in bed at night. I slept two nights with them and had no problems at all with them falling out of my ears. I found that you can kind of wear them two ways. One, it, as you see here, with the, the earpiece just resting on the uh, outside of your ear. And the other way is that you can tuck it into the uh, concha bowl of your ear so it fits a little more tightly like that and you can see now it's a uh, it's much um, deeper into my ear so in this case it's almost an earbud uh, but I did find that after a while that became uncomfortable and by a while I mean many hours uh, basically I fell asleep with them um, on my ears and I woke up in the middle of the night some five hours later or something and um, my, I had a sore spot in the back of the concha bowl of my ear where it was pressing. The, the next night when I wore them uh, just resting on the outside of my ear like this um, I had no problems with comfort and they were quite comfortable. Uh, the sound quality is is not good and one would expect it to be not good but it was a little better than I expected. Um, there really isn't much bass response at all and uh, the treble is somewhat rolled off although not terribly um, so it's it's a mid-range heavy listening experience but it's fairly even uh, uh, through the range and speech intelligibility remains good um, uh, there was no annoying honkiness or harshness or, uh, to the sound so I found them perfectly adequate to the task of um, listening to some music as you fall off asleep and, and better as a, as a headphone for listening to movies and stuff like that. Speech intelligibility was quite good, surprisingly good actually, and, and uh, I enjoyed them quite much and uh, quite a bit in that regard. Uh, the uh, cable is about uh, four feet long, four and a half feet long. It's about the right length. Uh, didn't get tangled up in my in, in my sleep or anything like that. The company suggests you put your player under your pillow if you're listening to music. Uh, accessorization is also quite good. Uh, they come with a handy little uh, clamshell carrying case. Uh, two spare foam covers for the ear pads and a uh, nice little sleeping mask so you can cut out the light in your cubicle as you take a nap. <laughs> so the, I did 
experience that the sound quality was different when I had them deep in my concha as opposed to resting against the side. When I put it deeper in my ear, I did get quite a bit more bass response, which was nice, but I, and, and more volume, but I also, uh, uh, got a sort of a mid-range uh, uh, emphasis, maybe around one kilohertz or thereabouts, a broad emphasis that, that made them sound kind of shouty. And I think that had to do with enclosing a small area between the uh, bed phone and my ear, then that area became a little bit resonant, uh, which caused this honkiness. Um, when they were resting on the outside of the ear, I didn't hear that at all, but it also had less bass. In the end, I, I preferred that. Um, for myself, I mostly watch movies in bed at night, and, and um, I like to lie on my side, but I never do usually because uh, a headphone you can't you can't put on your pillow. And with these, I could lie on my side quite nicely uh, with my iPad after I turn the rotation lock off, and uh, could watch movies comfortably with an iPad propped up sideways on the pillow next to me. So it worked quite well for that. Uh, for other uses, uh, general use, portable use around the house or, you know, traveling and stuff like that, they don't have any isolation, so they're not really good on airplanes. Um, and the sound quality, uh, uh, quite a bit better sound quality can be had um, for sort of general portable use um, with other products of the same price. For example, the Cost Porter Pro, where this is an over-the-head on-ear headphone, or, or the Cost KSC35, which clips onto your ear so you can wear it under uh, a hoodie or a helmet for uh, skateboarding or something like that or uh, bicycle riding. So I would, I would prefer those for that type of activity. And um, I also think that Apple EarPod, I, I, I got out my Apple EarPods uh, to make a comparison with these and the Apple EarPods um, I found also significantly better sounding. I think the Apple EarPods are probably the uh, one of the best sounding um, uh, uh, earbud type headphones around so and they're only $29 uh, but neither of those headphones um, or any of those three headphones will work well in bed so for its intended application in bed yeah I think these things work just dandy um, so um, the bed phone at 59 bucks um, is a very cute little gadget and uh, worthwhile if you're looking for uh, a headphone that'll go in bed. So they do definitely get my recommendation for that. Uh, the In terms of build quality, I did have a little bit of a concern. Um, if I, I'll, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very easily. So that's the surface of the driver. And uh, it's hard to tell maybe from this, but if you look at the Interfidelity article, you can see that there are some deformations on these little holes, and that is caused by somebody in the assembly line. I'll show you the other one because it has more of it. Uh, somebody on the assembly line is p using a tool to pull the grating away from the driver, and um, because they're so thin that sometimes after they're assembled, the driver buzzes up against that grill. And I did uh, actually verify with the um, owner of the company that that is what was going on. And he, um, uh, uh, in very nicely, said, yes, that's exactly what's going on. Um, these drivers are very, very thin, and they sometimes have to be adjusted um, mechanically at the end of the line. However, they were working on their next revision, which wouldn't have that problem, and which also had better bass response and um, higher efficiency, I think was the third thing. Um, at any rate, this is Rev 3 already of this headphone. And uh, from what I can tell and surmise uh, from various things written and uh, an online interview with um, uh, Eric Dubbs on, uh, about his company and, and the uh, bed phone products, it seemed pretty obvious to me that he was, uh, he's on a continuous uh, uh, mission to improve these headphones. So I'm pretty sure they're going to get better over time.
uh, as well. I did have a minor problem with the right earpiece at fairly loud listening levels, louder than I would normal listen, normally listen. I did hear a buzz. Um, but uh, with a $59 product um, and something so thin and unusual, I guess I'm not too terribly surprised. Uh, nonetheless, I would say, I still say, it's it's worth, uh, if you want to listen to music in bed and, and be able to roll around with the headphones still on your head, um, I would recommend these. I would recommend you try them. once you When you get them, try them. Listen to them at a little bit loud level. And if you hear any buzzing, then call their customer service department and arrange for a replacement. I'm sure they'll be most happy to, to do that. All right. The bed phone, 59 bucks. A handy little gadget that performs acceptably well in a very unusual use um, and uh, performs better in that use laying in bed at night than um, anything I've seen. So uh, pretty cool. Hope you get a chance to listen to one sometime soon or uh, and uh, maybe buy one. Uh, maybe you'll have to sleep on that. <laughs> All right, enough dumb jokes. We'll see you guys the next time.